Hey there, welcome to the Photographer Society Vlog. I'm Rochelle, founder of the Photographer Society, and this week we're going to talk about the power of testimonials. Now, often as photographers, we always worry about and get so nervous about asking our clients for testimonials. Now, you know, you shouldn't be scared or worried at any, you know, in any shape or form because the power of testimonials, whether they're good or bad, can be beneficial for your business. Now, why I say this is because when we ask for a testimonial, if it's good, we can use it to bring in more clients and to show off our services and our business to other potential clients and make us the, you know, the person that they should book in for their sessions. Now, if it's a bad testimonial, that is still a good thing. Now, don't get too, you know, you know, start thinking about what is she talking about? It's a good thing. It is a good thing because that you can use to create a better relationship with that client by you know based on their testimonial to actually fix that issue or whatever it might be and then they can see that how passionate you are about their customer service now with the bad testimonial you can also go back to your business and fix and tweak what that bad testimony was about and that way you know what that client sort of thought so you can go back to your business and actually fix it so it can become a better one over and over again for the future clients that are going to come into your photography business okay so you might be wondering how Am I going to capture testimonials? What's the easy way? What's the best way to get the best testimonials? Now, step number one, I want you to create a survey. So you can do this with um, softwares like Google surveys or you can use type forms which are really easy to use. Now, these are all online. So you send the link to your client. You would have pre-made these surveys. You would have pre-made the questions and they just fill it out. I suggest when you're doing this to to pretty much put short answer questions or they can tick off a yes or a no or they can put in their own comments. Don't make it too hard for them to fill out. Don't make it too long. Make it at least or last with them to fill out one to five minutes maximum. Now, I... A second thing I suggest is when you create this, keep it short and simple, maximum five maybe questions. If there's something particular you want them to elaborate on, keep that towards the end. Step number two is always ask in that survey, you know, to, to get them to sum up at the end of the survey, their overall experience. Ask them for their highlights, what they would say to other potential clients that want to come into your business and book you in as a business. Now, this helps because, you know, when they sum things up, you can capture that and use it as a testimonial on your social media and your website. So ask them how they felt, their experience, what they would say to others thinking about booking you in and, you know, the overall experience and how highly they would recommend you. So that gives them an idea rather than then sitting thinking, what am I going to say here? Because no matter how of a great experience I've had with you, they people, you know, are always in a rush and don't know what to say in situations like this. So you're pretty much giving them a, something to say. So you're asking them what experience they had what they would suggest to others how highly they recommend you they will happily go and answer that so leave that towards the survey also step number three when you're emailing this survey to them I want you to also have at the end of the email if you don't have time to fill in this survey please please just hit reply and let me know sum up, sum up what your experience was like and how you would recommend me to other potential clients that are thinking of booking me for their sessions or for their events or whatever it is you do now step number four and which is the most important step because that's why we are capturing testimonials is to show them off don't be don't hide them don't leave them on your facebook page or you know hidden somewhere show them off so if you just have social media now that you're using you don't have a website capture them screenshot them show them off not a lot of people that land on your facebook page or instagram or whatever social media platform you're a fan of no one actually sees these now i know with instagram you can't put referral so it's a good thing to get them to do that on your facebook page or email it to you um you know or on that survey you know screenshot it if um 
if they put that overall you know um, sentence or paragraph about your service and what they thought screenshot that and then just add that to your social media platforms or your website so show people that that's a real testimonial from a real client and you want to show that off now on that on your website you can obviously design it in a nicer way but you can still use that that's just proving to other people that look I'm the go-to person I'm the authority in my field I love what I do people love what I do and look here's proof you know when people see that they're, they're that sort of skips them ahead to actually deciding whether they want to book you in as a photographer or not so it's really really important to show these testimonials off you know um you schedule them like posts, like other posts you would um, post on your social media. Show people, you know, in emails, probably have it at the end as a footer. You know, what this person, what, let's just say Karen, her name is, what Karen had to say about her session and have her quote there. You know, at the end of your email um, that you send out to your clients maybe or anywhere you think that your client is actually looking, have a testimonial there. And remember, pick the best ones. So when you ask them, as I said in step um, for when you ask them all these questions, you're actually getting them to say awesome stuff about you and remember that awesome things that they experience during their session. So that's it for this week's blog, all about the power of testimonials. I want you now to go and flick through your testimonials. If you don't have any, email those potential clients and say, hey, I really wanted to know what you thought about your session. Just hit a reply and let me know your experience and how you would, uh, what would you recommend to other people? What would you say to other people that are thinking of booking me in? You know, if you don't know how to create these surveys, just email your clients and ask them to email you back with that and tell them, let them know that you're going to be using that testimonial on your um, social media platforms and your website and in your work. So, but my high, my I highly recommend that you do create a survey because this survey will be there for you to forward straight away after your se after your session with your client and after they finish their service with you. So, that's my um, top tips for you this week. All about the power of testimonials. I really want you to think deeply about these and think about where you can space these out and where you can put these testimonials to get in front of your your potential clients because whenever someone is trying to book someone in they are always weary not sure that would they get value for their money are you good enough and things like that and this is really proof for them to actually avoid all that thinking and avoid that scarcity that they might have before they book you in which is why a lot of clients you know don't um book businesses in and always go to someone else a friend or a family that's booked a particular person in and they just end up going with them so okay because i love you guys so much i have pre-made a template with questions you can include in your questionnaire that you're going to create for your clients to send to them after they booked with you so um, these questions you can alter them add you can even use them you're more than welcome to so download the, that template and start creating questionnaire I've done the hard work for you all you have to do is decide how you want to set it up to send it to your client so that's it from me to you and I will catch you again next week. Hey there, and thank you so much for watching my vlogs. I hope you're really enjoying these. Remember, if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to subscribe and head on over to thephotographersociety.com where you can sign up to get some freebies and my weekly newsletter with awesome tips and advice straight into your inbox. And remember, if you're a photographer that wants to learn, build, grow, and succeed in your photography business, you need to be part of the Members Club. All you have to go do is go to the photographersociety.com forward slash join members club and you can become a member, you know, where we have weekly trainings and awesome stuff that you need to grow your business and to make it client filled and profitable as well. So head on over there and I'll see you there again.